Hi folks, it's good to be with you. Uh, love to everybody out there. My website is jasonbirdspreacher.com. You can look me up at Facebook and Twitter. I'm really tired now. I've made a few videos, I'm getting a bit tired. So I just wanted to mention one last topic which was really important. I was reading an article uh, concerning secularism um, by Mr. Bell um, in the Bible League Quarterly. So you can go to the Bible League Quarterly, look up uh, secularism in Europe or something like that. And uh, I think it's secularism and jihadism or something like that. And it's a really good article. Um, but he makes a couple of interesting points. He makes the point that Richard Dawkins has been saying he's troubled about the secularization of Britain because it's moved away from Christianity and he's worried and wondering whether it was a good idea to move away from Christianity because Christianity provided a bulwark and moral framework for society. So Richard Dawkins is, is questioning whether it was actually a good thing to start whacking and attacking Christianity the way he did. Because what's happened is, and what he understands is, that secularization has left a moral, spiritual vacuum. And it's being filled by things that are ugly, such as jihadism. And the article goes on to mention that because we have this moral vacuum within the West, excuse me, this moral and spiritual vacuum in the West, that our Western leaders don't want to acknowledge this. And so any problem that they face, they try and move it away from thinking about the religious aspect. And so for example, um, they don't want to focus on the implication of the secularization of Europe and the implication of the spiritual vacuum and moral vacuum that that has brought. They don't want to face up to that. So, if you go to Paris, you get an example of what, how they don't want to face up to these issues. In Paris, when the jihadists attacked and struck the, the concert where they struck, they struck exactly at the time the band was singing a song called I'll Kiss the Devil. And the jihadists put out a statement which was not reported by the mainstream media nor by the politicians, but the jihadists put a, a, a statement out that they were against the secularization of Paris, that it had become uh, decadent. And their statement was hushed up because the state of Paris and France and the rest of Europe didn't want to face up to the implication of their secularization. Now, that doesn't mean to say it justifies the jihadists doing what they did. Of course not, we all agree with that. But, what it shows you is that there is this vacuum, morally and spiritually, and if it's not filled with something good, i.e. Christianity, it ends up becoming filled with things that are ugly, i.e. Islamic jihadism, Islamic terrorism. So all of us who are in the West today, Western leaders, Western thinkers, Western academics, Western people in various nations today, France, Germany, Spain, or uh, Britain, etc. Every single one of you have to face up to the fact that you're abandoning Christianity and you're moving into secularization has left a spiritual moral vacuum that a secularism cannot fill. And it's going to be filled with things that are ugly, such as Islamic jihadism. And the only way back from the brink of oblivion is for the Western nations and leaders and people to repent of their spiritual decadence and return back to the Word of God and come back to the gospel where Jesus Christ died for you and trust him as your Lord and Saviour and fill that spiritual vacuum with Jesus Christ with the goodness of the Lord Rip, uh, 
Dawkins mentioned this. You don't see any bombings of Christians in Europe. You don't see Christians killing people. You don't see Christians beheading people. This is what Dawkins said. In other words, he's saying, look, Christianity is, is not as bad as we've been making it out to be. Maybe we need to return. Maybe you need to return to Jesus and discover your Christian roots and turn around the spiritual vacuum that's happening in, in our nations and return back to this book, to Jesus Christ. A couple of other good books you could read about the Bible is Fox's Book of Martyrs, Pilgrim's Progress. These were basic books that everybody read in our nation and they tell you about the gospel that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Saviour if you trust him as your Lord and Saviour. Rediscover Christ that he died on the cross for you, gave his life for you. Rediscover him and rediscover the spiritual roots of the West, which is Jesus Christ. In him is all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you.